everybody, I'm Bob. Hey there guys, I'm Kelly. If you are brand new to our channel, we wanna say hi there and thank you so much for choosing to join us thank today. You. And if you are returning to our channel, thanks so much for coming back to see us. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, if you wouldn't mind doing that really quickly, it just takes a hot second to do that and just press that little red button. Boom. <laughs> And also click that notification bell so that you know every single time we post. Ding, 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 ding. Which during Vlogmas, we are posting. <laughs> we are posting every single day. Every single day. December first through the twenty fifth. Yeah, we're not doing it after Christmas. Yeah, because we're gonna need a break. Yep. Yeah. So on Sundays we will still have our regular London travel vlogs. Yes. So. Yeah. But everything else is going to be all about Vlogmas. the Vlogmas. So we are continuing our Vlogmas week. Happy Vlogmas happy, to happy you. Vlogmas. Happy, happy Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Happy, happy Vlogmas. Happy, happy Vlogmas. <laughs> Love that song. Okay, that was good. That's my favorite Vlogmas song. That was really good. I'm, it's going to sweep the nation. It will. Top 40, it's here we come. Vlogmas song. Vlogmas right up there song. with Bob Washing Socks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So today we are answering the questions that you guys asked us during our giveaway video. Yes, and we are going to announce the, the winners, winners of our giveaway. Yeah. So if you don't remember, show them what we have. If you don't remember what we're giving away for yes, our giveaway, balls. we are giving away two, two popcorn buckets from Disney World. Well, one's from Disney World, one's from the cruise, but we did see these at Disney World too. So we have the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. The Mickey Mouse. Oh, Christmas tree. And this one does light up. The and then clock. we also have the, clock. the alien popcorn bucket. Is there something in my eyes? <laughs> so yeah, this this little guy lights up. I don't, oop, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Now it's lit. See, it's cute. It's super cute. Yeah. It's not flashing, but it's lit. That's okay. Now it's there flashing. It goes. Flash, 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 flash. Anyway, it's adorable. It's adorable. So we are going to answer your questions and we want to just say a quick thank you to everyone that entered our giveaway, took the time to count the numerous times we said snacks Snack. in our video. And we are also going to tell you exactly how many times we did say snacks, snacks in our video at the end when we announce the winners. Yes. Right? Yeah. All right. So let's get to these questions. I'm ready. There's some doozies in here, by the yes, way. Yes, there are. Yeah. Some are so, really good. Question number one from our friends, Sawyer in the Middle. They guessed 29 snacks. And their question is, what is your least favorite Disney attraction? Small World. There's a Small World? Small World. Okay. It just gets in your head. It's like an earworm and you can't get it out. And it's like, I don't need that. I got enough garbage running around my head. <laughs> I don't need more garbage, especially little people who look creepy. Yeah. I have a hard time with this because I, I really do like a lot of them. I'm gonna have to say, um, like Aladdin's Magic Carpet. I mean, it's really not that exciting. I know it's just like Dumbo, but Dumbo is Dumbo. Is Dumbo, and that gives him credit. No, yeah, we said. never we never take the time to go on Aladdin's Magic Carpet. Well, no, because it's Lame. <laughs> that would be lame in English terms. <laughs> So I'm just gonna say that one. Okay. Okay. You can say that one. Question number two from our friend Cindy Ellicott. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Um, Cindy, uh, uh, she guessed 30 times we said snacks, and her question is: is what would be the perfect date night at Disney World? Oh, the perfect date night at Disney World would be dinner at Jico and then rushed off to Cinderella's Castle to spend the night. Ooh. That would be a very good uh, date and night. Before the fireworks, so we can watch fireworks from Cinderella's castle. That is cool. I'm gonna agree with you on that because Jico was in my perfect date night. Yeah. But you know, we would travel around by like minivan limousine if they had them. Yes. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be super cool. For a minivan cool. limo to take us to Animal Kingdom Lodge, you know, have a couple of wait. 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 There's more. There's more. We're gonna go to Nomad Lounge for a couple of cocktails first. first. And then we're gonna go to Jico for dinner and then we're gonna go- Then we'll be whisked, uh, whisked away. away to the Cinderella Castle Suite. Yes, and we get to ride in Cinderella's coach from the front gate to the castle. Yeah. Yes, and they film the whole thing. That would be awesome. Okay, let's see. Question number three from Mark Allen Hemphill. Hi, Mark Allen. He guessed 27 snacks. Snacks. And his- <laughs> 
His question is, is, when did we take our first ever Disney trip and what was it like? We went to Disneyland in 2014. Yeah, when Kaya- No, 13. When Kaya turned five. 13, when I was on my As 50, a family, yes. as this family. Well, yeah. no. Because I had gone to Epcot like way before that. Okay, with me, Kelly, yes. This was our first ever yes. Disney trip Together. and it was with Kaya. Yeah, she turned five. I was and, 50. Yeah, and we took her to Disneyland for her- Fifth birthday. Fifth birthday and Bob's 50th birthday. Yes. Yes. So, and it was awesome. It was. We stayed at the Disneyland Hotel. No, we did not. We did not? No, we stayed at a good neighbor hotel that time. We did? Yes. <laughs> we stayed, where was it? The Annabella or something yeah, like that. Yeah, the Annabella, which yeah. is across the street from California Adventure. Which I'll never stay at a non-Disney hotel again. No, it wasn't bad. It was no, just it wasn't that was that, like I like to be was, on property. It was a bit of a walk. She likes to be in the bubble. I do like so to the be bubble. So the bubble is like, you know, but it, it was close enough, but it was after a long day at the park. Yeah. It was a little bit of a trek. But to now get compared through. to Disney World walking, it was the piece of cake. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we did, and it was a great trip. We yes. had a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, we got to meet um, Mulan and Mushu because yeah. it was also Chinese New Year at that time. Chinese New Year and Mardi Gras. And Mardi Gras. And so we yeah. got like a triple. We got a triple threat. Triple it was awesome. awesome. Yeah, it was very good. So question number four from Hempilly Ever After, which is Kayla Hempill. <laughs> Hi Kayla. Hi Kayla. Um, she guessed 26 and she just wants to know how we met and more about us. We mm -hmm. met in massage school actually. Yeah, Bob we, and I are both um, licensed massage therapists yes. if you don't already know that. Yes. And we met in massage therapy school in Texas. Yes. And what else? Um, what else do you want to tell them about you? About me? Oh, mm. I'm just a cool ass dude. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> All right then. They're like, you know, it's just. I love to have fun. I want to have fun, like all the time. I try not to take anything too serious. Yeah. You know, so because yeah. life's way too short. But I used to be that grumpy person back in the day, and you know what? It takes a lot of energy to be life like is that. Too short. So, yeah. And, yeah. And I realized that being fun is more fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we both still are practicing massage therapists. We own our own business. Yes. And. Um, it's very small. It's not all it's cracked up to be, I'll it's, tell you. But you know it's what? It's great. That's I would not have reason, it any other way. No, but that's the reason why we're able to travel a little bit more often is because we do own our own business. Yeah. And we can kind of take our time, you know, either close or, you know. But we do take shorter trips we because of that. We do take shorter trips because of that. So you'll see us taking maybe three and four day trips instead of a week. Right trip at a time. Mm -hmm. So that's why we do things the way we do. Yeah, but you know, she's amazing. I love her to death. She is like the sunshine of my life. Mm -hmm. And she, um, from the day I met her, I knew. You knew? I knew. I was the one. Yeah, even though she gave me a massage and I said I'd had better. <laughs> Well, I was just a student Because at that she time. was a student, but it was hilarious yeah. because she found out, you know. So we've been married for, we got married in 2006. Six. Yes. We got married on Cinco de Mayo of 2006, yes. so it's 5506. So I could remember it. Yeah, and between us, we have five kids and a granddaughter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Hi, Bobby. Yay. If you're watching. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. And Bobby's named after Bob, by the way. Yeah. Which is really cool. That's our grandbaby. Okay, so question number five from our friend Mike Temple. Hi, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. glad you're feeling better. He uh, he guessed 30 snacks. Snacks. And, oh, his is complicated, so this is, might take this a minute. This is going to take a minute. He says, build Disney Denver by taking two rides from each U.S. Disney park. So we have to take two rides from Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, also Disneyland and Disney California. Okay, Adventure. we start with Disneyland. Okay. Disneyland. I would take Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion. Yes, because they're just a little bit different than the ones at Disney World. And I believe they're better. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So from so we have Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean, and then we're gonna go California Adventure next. We're gonna do um, the Incredicoaster. Yes, Incredicoaster for sure. Yes. And, and cars, radiator, cars, radiator, yes. radiator, springs, radiator racers. springs racers. Yes. Okay, so that's four. So we have to have twelve rides. Twelve. Okay, so let's go to Epcot. Epcot Soren. Soren. Number one. And Frozen Ever After. Frozen Ever After. Okay, so then let's go to uh, Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios, uh, Slinky Dog Dash, Slinky and Dog. Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, Tower 
of terror. That's a hard one. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to fight you between Slinky Dog and um, Midway Mania. Okay, I'll give you Midway Mania. Okay, so let's go Midway Mania and Tower of Terror. Yeah. Okay, so then let's go to Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, um, Flights of Passage. Flight of Passage and... Expedition es Everest. Expedition Everest. Yes. Yeah, this is gonna be a killer park. Yes, it is. So, Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, I'll have to go with um, Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain, and. Ooh, we forgot about Space Mountain. Well, you can put Space Mountain in there. Okay, let's put Space Mountain in there, because you gotta have a Space Mountain. Gotta have a Space Mountain. Gotta have a Space Mountain. Okay. okay, so let's recap. We have. Did you miss a park? No. That's it. Let's count. We have Pirates of the Caribbean. And, and Haunted Mansion. Mansion, and then we have Incredicoaster and Radiator Springs, Radiator Racers. Springs Racers, and then we have Soren, Soren, and Frozen, Frozen Ever After. After. Thank you, Kaya. <laughs> and then we have Expedition Everest, Expedition Everest, Flight of Passage, Flight of Passage, and then we have Midway Mania, Midway Mania, and, and Tower, Tower Terror. Terror. And then, and then we Big have Thunder Mountain, Big Thunder and, Mountain Space Mountain. and Space Mountain. That's it. That's yeah. our park. That's our park, Denver. Heck yeah. Disney Denver. It's going to be rocking. Okay, so question number six for our friends. It's a Stakesy thing. It's a Stakesy thing. Hi, guys. Um, and so Hi, Paul, Paul and June. Hi, Paul and June. Paul and June answered separately, so they each get an entry, as, as did Mark Allen and Kayla Hemphill. Um, his question is, out of the many, 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 Disney parks, resorts, and cruises that we've been on. Hasn't been that many, Paul. Yeah, which have, uh, which is your favorite? I gotta say, the first one, Disneyland, with the three, you know, celebrations, it was amazing. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my favorite, um, there's a few, but I'm gonna go with the first time we all, the five of us, you know, Kaya and Dre and Devin and you and I went on the three, and the four night cruise, and then two nights at Disney World. Okay. We stayed at um, Art of Animation. That was insane. We took a four night cruise to We went to, to all Bahamas. four parks in two days. We did to all four parks in two days and we were wiped. First Disney World trip too. But it we was knew cool. nothing about yeah, it. Yeah, but it was awesome. It was. Yeah, so I'm going with that one. Um, so June Steaks asked, she guessed 29 snacks. Snacks. She says, what is our favorite thing on our recent, most recent trip to London? What was your most favorite thing? Um. I gotta say, my was um, probably the pub meeting everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was cool. And having Emma and John there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I don't think it would have been the same trip to London if we hadn't met Emma and John. And Emma Scott, and John and Fiona and Scott and, and John Don and, and Gary, Gary from the Disney Grown Ups and FNS Disney and Adventures. I'm really, 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 really sad we didn't get to Yorkshire because yeah, I would have loved to met, you know, you guys, the I know, but, but That's on our list for next yeah, time. Yeah, next time. <laughs> But yeah, that I don't think that trip would have been the same if it had just been us right. going around London. I mean, it was a great trip. It was a great trip, and, and London is an awesome place. The Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Was I amazing, loved it. Yeah. But it was the most fun. It was every. It was meeting everyone. Jam packed, full, and fun is all yeah, good. We've laughed more yeah. than anything than we have ever laughed in you know the whole weekend. Right. Which was awesome. Okay, so question number eight from uh, Jacob Collins. He's a new friend of Hi, ours. Hi, Jacob. Thanks he for guessed, joining us. He gets 31 snacks. Snacks. He said, what are your favorite rides in each Walt Disney World Park? Disney World Park. Yeah, so okay. just pick one. Big Thunder Disney Mountain, Park. Magic Kingdom. Um, um, I got to say Tower of Terror and Hollywood Studios. Uh, Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest at Animal Kingdom. And Epcot is Frozen Ever After. Okay. I'm gonna go with Splash Mountain uh, at Magic Kingdom, and at Hollywood Studios, it's gonna be Tower of Terror. At um, Animal Kingdom, I would say Everest, and at Epcot, I would say Soren. Okay. Yeah. Question number nine from our friends Emma and John. Hi, Hi Emma and John. John. They guessed 29 snacks. Snacks. They said, when are we coming back to England, and what is the best Disney experience you've ever had? Say, when hell freezes over. <laughs> no. No. I'm kidding. No. As soon as we can. As soon as we can. Yeah, it's just going to be one of those things like, oh, hey, guess what? We can do it. We'll yeah. go. Yeah, hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah, I'm within the next year or two. Hopefully. 18 months, I think. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yeah. 
So anyway. Anyway, the best experience we've ever had at Disney. Um, I gotta go. I, I don't know. I was gonna say, um, God, I gotta go with the first Disney trip. It was my best. Okay. I would say one of the coolest experiences that we've had was our first time after we bought into DVC. We stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge and we had some issues at Animal Kingdom Lodge, like with the pullout bed. Bob had some issues with his um, magic dining band, plan. And the dining plan not working. And the, uh, the, get a snack. the manager at the Animal Kingdom Lodge at Kidani Village, where we were staying, ended up giving us like a three hundred three hundred dollar credit, hundred dollar credit mm -hmm. onto our account. Yeah. So that we just to say sorry for the inconvenience, and we just had a blast. Yeah, we had a great time spending the three hundred dollars, you know, just on stuff. Yeah, mostly just merch. It was really, really nice, you know, kind of a a pixie dust. It was a pixie thing dust that we got, moment. and I'll always remember that. So yeah. that was cool. That was awesome. Okay. So question number 10 is from another new friend, Chrissy Brewer. Hi, Hi Chrissy. Chrissy. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, she also gets 30 snacks. Snacks. And she said, what is your favorite Disney memory? I think we just kind of answered that. Yeah, we kind of did. Yeah. Sorry. No, but that it was a really good question. And it's a really good memory. It was. I, there's so many of them. So it's many so hard memories. to pick from one. Yeah, and that's really one of the reasons why we started vlogging was because we were having such great Disney trips and remembering all these, you know, Yeah, and it's things. like good to go back and watch the it's videos. It's so much, and, yeah, it's yeah. so nice to be able to go back and watch. And just laugh all over Yeah, because some things, you know, we're getting older, we kind of forget the stuff. So anyway, thanks so much for your question, Chrissy. Um, the question number 11 from our friend Michael J. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. He gets 29 snacks. Snacks. And he says, if you could design one Disney attraction, it could be a ride or a show, what would it be? Well, I answered this in a, an earlier tag video, and I think it still would be awesome. I would like to do a Princess and the Frog one, where it's like kind of like Ratatouille, but it's from a frog's point of view through the streets of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe the bayous of New Orleans well, and cool. the plantations and stuff. Oh, yeah. There'd going, be so much you could do. Oh, my gosh. It would be amazing. And the music. The smells. The everything about yeah. New Orleans. And, you know, my second happiest place on earth is New Orleans. Yeah. I, I also answered this in a previous video a while back. But I think it would be cool to have a Baymax... Um, yeah, flight ride. Kind of flight ride, kind of like a flight of passage Soren mashup, where you're kind of riding on Baymax like Hero does in Big Hero Six. So you're kind of flying through the you know the city and you know diving and I think that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, because you know Baymax is horrible. Question number twelve. This is our last question from our friends um, Gary and Don from the Disney Grown Ups. And they guessed 29 snacks. Snacks. And they said, when are we going to Disneyland Paris? That's a good question. A good because question. maybe the next time we go to London, we might be able to extend it to DLP. Yeah, that would be really nice. But, you know, we will give you plenty of notice. Yes. If we do. Yeah, because we have to plan our, our big trips like that way in advance. Yeah, for about, you know, six yeah. to so, months. Yeah, minutes. even if we just get to go for just a couple of days, you know, take the Eurostar to Paris for a couple of days. Yeah. Well, we'll let you know. That would be really fun, but DLP. we would really, really like to go because I, yeah, with my you guys, goal, yeah, yeah. My, my goal is to get to every Disney park yeah. in the world. So. so hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we yeah. can get there sooner rather than later. Correct. Cool. Yep. All right, so it's time to announce the giveaway. Winner. First off, we're going to tell you the correct answer. Yes. Yeah, so we did say snacks. 30 times. 30 times. Yeah, they were, there was one sneaky snack a in there. A sneaky snack that it was like really hard to catch, yeah. but it was there, so there so is So, those of you that did answer 30, Mike Temple, Chrissy Brewer, and Cindy Ellicott, you guys got it correct. You did not have to get the correct number of snacks to win no. the giveaway. No. We just thought it would be fun, you know. To, to see how many people To see would, if you guys could get If you could actually get So, yes, yeah, so we did say snacks 30 times. Yes. Yeah, so let's announce the giveaway winner. Okay, first off, our first giveaway winner, and we're gonna give you the choice. You can give us an email. Yeah, you can choose whether you would like the alien popcorn bucket or the Christmas tree popcorn bucket. And we have chosen our winner at random on yes. um, the two buddy random picker. And we have chosen, uh, the two buddy picker has chosen. Da -da 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 -da. You wanna say it? Yeah, the first winner with choice is. Cindy, Cindy Ellicott. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, Cindy! So We're so excited for you, Cindy. Cindy's yes. been a huge supporter so, of our Cindy, channel. So, Cindy, give yeah. us an email because Kelly will put our email in the description. Yeah, down below. Yes, and you can pick. You get the pick. 
between the Christmas tree or the alien, whichever one you prefer. Yes. And then <laughs> da -da 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 -da. winner number two gets the consolation prize. Well, not really consolation. Well, gets the one that's left over. Gets the second choice. And it's like, yeah. I want okay. that one. So our second winner is also been picked with our two buddy random picker. Randomizing picker. And our second winner is Mark Allen Hemphill. Yay, Mark Yay, Allen. Mark Allen. Leave our email address down below so Cindy and Mark Allen, you can send us your mailing information and we'll get these popcorn buckets out to you as soon as we can. ASAP. Yeah. So we want to say thank you so much again to everybody for entering our giveaway and for your awesome questions. We had such a great time. And a good you. job on the counting there because you were close. Yeah. And I know it was difficult. It was. Yeah. But thank you again for all your support of our channel and I guess it's time to say bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. And we will see you tomorrow with another episode of Love. Yeah. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. -bye.